Hello friends, this is my YouTube channel called PowerPoint University. You can find more than 200 plus video tutorials which are absolutely free and I have provided the download link for each video in the video description section. And if you need any assistance or help, you can contact me through WhatsApp on this number. And as usual, I need your support to make my content free. You can donate any amount as you like, which will help me to make more free content. Thank you for your support. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel PowerPoint University. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a standing 3D chart in PowerPoint. You can see here I have created a platform and then in the background you can see a glass with some the numbers there. So let's see how the animation looks. When I click, the first bar will come with the number here. Then second will come. You can see the shadow effects also. Third, fourth and fifth. Likewise, I have created one more animation with only the four bars. So let's see how to create this stunning animated 3D slide in PowerPoint. Add a new slide. Go to insert shapes. Select block arc. Draw the arc by holding the shift key. and reduce the size if you want you can decrease the width also shape outline make it no outline and this color i'm going to select black then give the 3d look right mouse click go to format shape under effects under 3D effects, you can increase the depth, but the depth you cannot see unless and until you go at the bottom 3D rotation. Under 3D rotation, select this off axis one top and you can see the width, then increase the width. Maybe up to 80. And then you can give some different effect in the material. You can come and select maybe the plastic and the lighting. You can select maybe the glow. So you got something like this. And if you want to increase the size, you can increase the size. So you got this much size. And you can change the background. Select the gradient fill. I have used this gradient fill this looks much more darker I'm going to just change this uh, material from this to metal so you got uh, this particular color with a metal metallic look and then I'm just going to insert the our 3d bars go to insert shapes select a oval shape shape outline make it no outline and this also i'm going to give the 3d effect go down and 3d rotation select the same off axis top and then come here increase the depth You can see I'm just increasing the depth. So I'm just going to place one here. And then press Ctrl D to add one more. Place this side and change the color to some different color. Maybe green. Press Ctrl D. This will come here. This will be, I'll say, uh, red. Control D. I'm going to add four only so we can add five or six depending on the requirement and 
say maybe this color so i've got four one two three and four and likewise i'll just copy this press ctrl d change this color to white and increase the width and place it here exactly on top of it can you see this now this can be bigger also for this i'm just going to increase the size and let it be here and this white also i'm just going to copy it here but i'm going to reduce the size of the white now You need to make sure that the size should match with this. So I have to go further down and bring it more down. All right. So similarly, I'm just going to copy, reduce the size further to this. All right. And then you increase the sorry then increase the size likewise this also if you want you can further decrease it and this control d and increase the size all right i have to reduce a little bit you need to spend some time here doing this one so you have to just make sure that the size are all matching. So once this is done, press Ctrl G to group it. Place it here. Select this Ctrl G. And then select this Ctrl G. And this also Ctrl G then you can add the text for each again go to insert text i'm just going to type say a 200 fill with white color and i'm going to use a different font called oswald increase the size center align and bring it here and then you can go to the effects again Generally, you can see the text effects here. Go to the text effects and then rotation also. You can select this one. Or we have to see whether this will match. Maybe this will match. This is 200. Press Ctrl D add it here and this one i'm just going to select maybe this so this will be 200 here also Control d this will be the other side and last Control d this will be which side could be this one so then you got the numbers here then you can change any number you want here maybe this is not 250 it could be 150 
this could be 300 this could be 100 and this could be 50 only now let's add the glass at the back for that go to insert shapes select a rectangle draw the rectangle something like this shape fill make it no fill shape outline you can increase the outline and then say gradient fill you can add some black and white gradient so this could be i'll just say a white this would could be a black again this could be a white just to give the feeling of and then this is also white you can change the something like this you can see and then I'm just going to add one more you can select the right triangle draw the right triangle shape outline make it no outline and bring the other side and give a gradient fill for this use some white color and then this also white but i'm just going to reduce the transparency level you can see here and this also i'm just going to reduce a little bit transparency so it looks like a glass effect and select both of these options first let me select this and say send to back and let me just select this and send to back so you can see a glass effect has been created and then add some lines here shapes lines draw the line straight and give the line as black or a gray and increase the transparency level press ctrl d add three more or two more select all these three and send back all right and then you can add a text here like 100 200 or whatever 100 Oswald give some gray color only or somewhat darker or lighter I mean control D duplicate this will be 200 300 400 or oh, or oh, depends on how much you need you can add it here so once this is done now you can add some shadow effect also here to add the shadow effect go to insert shapes select an oval shape draw the oval shape something like this go to the format shape say gradient fill first of all remove the outline and type you select path and this one here i'm just going to select a black color and here you can use the same color but make it transparency to 100 percent and here also you can remove the brightness to minus 100 percent bring it down and send this back so 
so it will look something like this and the similarly add here add here and add here and select all these three and say send backward all right you can see that the shadow effect has been created now it's now time to do the animation go to animations enable the animation pane first select this one and say wipe you can see wipe if you want you can make it a uh, fast instead of very fast and then this particular uh, shadow effect should come fade that is should happen with previous you can say and then this also text also should be with previous and I'll just say appear with previous now if I play it something looks like this now I'll just copy this animation painter select this one then the shadow effect animation painter this one and then the text effect using the animation painter now if you see again let me just play first it will come then second so I'm going to use just the animation painter copy it here sorry animation painter copy it here then the shadow effect animation painter select the shadow then the text then this is the last one animation painter then the shadow effect the last is the text So let's see how it looks in the slideshow. So this is how it looks when I click the first bar will come then the second third and fourth. That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.